costs us over $4,000 a month. Um, that's three times our rent payment. Bridget Flaherty says she is struggling to pay bills with a high cost of daycare for her three kids. She's constantly turning to credit cards. Bridget says the balance is up to $20,000 in just one year. The level of stress that it's put on our family. We live in a house that is falling apart, but we can't afford to move. Um, it makes me really sad because I think about it's going to take us years to get out from under this debt. She's one parent advocating for fully funded child care. People gathering today in Halifax Mall and urging lawmakers to double investments. They're also pushing for an increase in pay and benefits for those doing the work. We just cannot compete like with Target and Walmart who are paying like $20 an hour. We still cannot compete with that. Cassandra Brooks owns two daycare centers in Johnston County. She tells me it's difficult getting in qualified people because of the pay scale. Federal grants were helping to make up the difference. That funding has evaporated and workers have left the field. You kind of can't blame them. They do have to take care of their families. And so it is hard to try to find people to come into the workforce and stay committed because, because of the pay and benefits. The rally taking place days after President Biden signed an executive order that has more than 50 directives to increase access to child care and improve the work-life balance of caretakers. In Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.